Are you trapped in your electric vehicle if you lose power? There's a lot of different stories out there about this happening. People spending hours in their car or trapped in their vehicle when it loses power. In fact, one guy actually was stuck in his car while it was on fire. He kicked the window out to escape. But was that really necessary? I think most firefighters understand how a door works, but if you don't, when I grab a hold of this door handle right here, I've got a cable that's physically attached to this door handle that runs all the way down to the latch mechanism. I pull the handle, it moves the cable, it moves the latch. It, everything moves in unison. Now this works like a lot of devices. For example, a bicycle. When you pull the brakes on the bicycle, you can physically see that cable. The difference with a vehicle is that cable is hidden behind the door panel. Now the Ford Mustang Mach-E and a lot of electric vehicles, but not limited to electric vehicles. There's higher end combustion engine vehicles that are doing this now. They get rid of traditional door handles. Now we've got a push button. So you need electricity to be able to open the doors. So if we get on scene for whatever reason, or there's an accident and you lose power in this vehicle, you can no longer open the doors, at least from the outside. You can see right here, the Mach-E has a handle. It's just a bracket. It's something solid to pull on. There's nothing that actually opens the door with this handle. You have to push this button right here. You push the button, it opens the door. Now I can open the door. The rear door is the same thing. I walk back to the rear door. It's a button up here. There's no handle. There's nothing on the rear door at all. So I push this button right here. It pops the door open. Now I can grab the side of the door and open the door. Now the Mustang is easy. It's still like your traditional doors, the way they've been opening doors for 100 years. You see this door handle right here, one finger, I pull it and the door opens. It's not electronic at all. Now, even though the Mustang Mach-E doesn't require power to exit the vehicle, there's a lot of vehicles that require power to exit or enter the vehicle. And this can be a problem, especially if the owners don't realize there's a manual override. And this has happened a number of times. In fact, there's one instance where a 75 year old man got in his Cadillac XLR and this gentleman was stuck for 13 hours. He got in his vehicle, shut the door, realized there was no power. The doors wouldn't open, the vehicle wouldn't start, the key fob wouldn't work, and he panicked. He didn't know what to do. Unfortunately, what this owner didn't realize is this vehicle is equipped with a manual release. It's on the floor between the driver's seat and the door. There was another incident involving a 73-year-old man in Arizona who got stuck in his vehicle for about 20 minutes on a 100-degree day. And in a third incident, which I'll show you a clip here shortly, so I kicked through the window because yeah. everything stopped. Yeah. The, the power didn't work, the door didn't open, the, yeah. the windows didn't go down. So and even though he kicked his way out, it was absolutely unnecessary. And here's why. So inside the car, I do need power to exit. There's a button, if you get in here, right here. I push this button, it opens the door. So what do I do if I lose power? Well. With the Tesla, at least the Model Y, I have a manual release right down here. I can grab this manual release, pull it up. That's a manual activation that has a cable that's attached to the door to allow me to open it. Now I'm in the back seat of the Model Y and you can see this button right here. Same deal, it's an electronic button. I push this button, it opens the door, it allows me to exit. Now I will say what's concerning about the Model Y and a lot of the Tesla vehicles is they don't have a manual release in the back seat. So if you're in the back seat, depending on your situation, you might not be mobile enough to get to the front seat, get out of the vehicle in case of an emergency. All Teslas use electric door handles. While this looks like a door handle, it's flush to the vehicle. And as I push this right here, that actually electrically opens the door. Even though I do have a handle to pull, there's nothing mechanically attached to this handle to the door latch mechanism. So just to comment on these windows and a lot of windows in vehicles moving forward, we're all used to the tempered glass where you take a window punch, you punch through the window, it shatters, it's very easy to escape. And a lot of people recommend keeping these window punches in their vehicles so they can exit in a hurry. Unfortunately, many vehicles are going to laminated glass and this is one of those situations. Now, if you're the owner of an electric vehicle, I really recommend that you know how your vehicle operates, you know how to get out of your vehicle in case of an emergency, in case you lose power. But as firefighters, we don't know each individual vehicle, and that's why the emergency response guide for these vehicles, the ERG, is so important. So make sure as a firefighter, when you get on scene, take the time to look up that specific vehicle, pull the emergency response guide up, 
look through the documentation so you know how to safely operate on these vehicles, not only shut them down, but how to manually open the doors. There's a lot of good information there. If you wanna learn more about the emergency response guides, click this link right here.